Okay, resetters, I'm gonna give you the number one thing you can do to lower your blood sugar. And here's what I wanna tell you, fasting. It's not fasting, it's the number one thing you can do and it's super easy, we can all do it. So if you're struggling to bring your blood sugar down, let's talk about how you do that quickly and easily, especially in context of like, oop, I ate a too high of a carb meal, or oops, I know I wasn't supposed to eat dessert and I ate dessert. What do you do in those moments? How do we bring blood sugar down? The first thing that we've got to remember is that there's two ways that blood sugar stays high. One is when we eat a meal, a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar, no fiber, a lot of toxins, those are gonna elevate blood sugar. And the other is when stress is really high and what ends up happening is your blood sugar stays at a very consistently high rate because your body thinks it's running from a tiger. And this one, I, I've already addressed it in other videos. I've addressed this in videos as well, but I really wanna bring this down to like, what do you do in those moments when you are really wanting better results with your fasting lifestyle, you're really focused on bringing your blood sugar down. Here's, how, here's the way I look at this. If you are in the middle of a meal and all of a sudden like the blood, your blood sugar is really high, if all of a sudden you had a meal and you were beating yourself up, that's what I don't want you to do is beat yourself up. Here's what you do. Go move your body. Literally, this is the best thing you can do post big meal, post big glucose spike. Move and use that glucose. Whatever you don't use, your body will store. Now, what do you do if you're inside and it's you know nine o'clock at night, you don't wanna go outside, then do air squat. You can literally just like stand up and just go, just squat, just up and down like this. Do as many as you can and what you're doing is you're taking all of that glucose and you're putting it to the larger muscle groups, your glutes and your, um, and your th hamstrings and quads. So use it. The worst thing you can do is eat a high meal, feel guilty, shame yourself and go to sleep. Now that's gonna get stored as fat. So when we're looking at ways to lower the blood sugar, my favorite is movement post meal. That is an incredible one. Now, the other thing I want you to think about is that the second scenario where cortisol is high because the stress is high. And this boils down to the hormonal hierarchy. So if you're not familiar with the hormonal hierarchy, I'll share it with you here. It's that um, your sex hormones will be influenced by insulin. Insulin will be influenced by cortisol. Cortisol will be influenced by oxytocin. So when we're under a lot of chronic stress, what ends up happening is cortisol rises and so now what we've got insulin, we're more insulin resistant, which an insulin resistant state keeps that blood sugar high. So in that scenario, lots of movement is really good. And, and specifically walking, I've talked about this before, when you walk or you run or even bike riding, like when you're, when you're doing like a forward movement, what you're telling your body is, hey, I get it. I know we're running from a tiger, totally fine. Um, I'm on it, I'm moving away from the threat and all of a sudden that cortisol level, level comes down. And when that cortisol level comes down, your body is able to re-engage your insulin system and it'll open those cells up so they're more insulin sensitive and glucose won't be stored and it won't be showing up high for you and it won't be stored as fat, it'll actually go into the cells where it's needed. Now, I've, I've spoken to this before, but in case you didn't see that video, remember that what you wanna do when you're walking is scan the horizon. So you wanna go from left to right and right to left because what you're doing is you're like looking, as you're looking, you are telling your body, I, we're searching for the threat. We're not just moving away from the potential threat behind us, but now I'm searching for the threat. Now something interesting I've thought a lot about, then it really ties into everything I'm talking about here. What happens to so many of us at night? It's like we have, and, and people, I mean, not you all, you've been watching my videos, but you know, a lot of people eat these high carb meals they get really sleepy, they sit on the couch, and then they pick up their phone and they start scrolling social media. Social media is a vertical movement of your eyes to scroll that. That actually puts you in an agitated stress state. So all of a sudden cortisol comes in and it's not, it, it thinks you are in a stress state, it does not think you're moving away from the stress. Whereas reading is going, from left to right to right to left. So you are, you're, 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 the eye movement is really powerful for telling your body if it should be stressed or not stressed. 
So when we have these big meals, we can move our body to, to lower blood sugar, but we also could move our eyes. We could move our eyes from side to side to start to lower blood sugar, but the vertical is not gonna work. Last thing I wanna say that I think is really important because I love to triple stack all of this, these, this information. If you're trying to really go after lowering your blood sugar and, you're, and you, want to, you want to pull all these concepts together that I'm sharing, then one of my favorite things to do is to go like for a hike, but go for a hike with somebody. Or maybe like I have, a, I have a good friend who lives in Australia and for many years we would actually run together. She would be on, in Australia, I was in Northern California and we would be on the phone talking to each, each other running. And what that does when you do an activity that calms the nervous system down, that bring, lowers blood sugar down and you add oxytocin to it. It's like oxytocin is like the icing on this, on this, on the, this conversation cake. It's like, oh my God, let's, let's pour some oxytocin into this situation. What's happening is cortisol is coming down quickly because you're moving the threat away from the threat. You're scanning the horizon. You're looking for the threat. And now you're with a friend and you're in connection with another human being, which is giving you oxytocin. And now all of a sudden the whole system shuts, starts to calm down and, you, and your glucose calms, your cortisol calms, and you get the result that you deserve to get. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. Now, the reason I call it that I like hiking, especially if you can hike on a, on a hill, is that there's also other ad, added benefits. You start to, to get out of breath a little bit more, so you're gonna release more stored sugar. You start to power up some of the bigger muscles like your quads and your glutes, so you're powering those up, and the more muscle you have, the more insulin receptor sites you have, so that's a really good thing. And when you're out in nature, you're breathing in microbes, believe it or not, from the trees and, the, and all of the wildlife that's there. And those microbes go in and b believe it or not, they're gonna affect your, your microbial health on the inside of your body and it's the microbe that control blood sugar or have a large part of this. M your microbial diversity matters when it comes to blood sugar. So we might end up needing more of these microbes, especially those of you who've been on antibiotics and birth control for many years. So one hike, Think about that for a moment, like one hike with one friend, take your bestie, then can have a multifaceted effect. It turns off the survival mode. You're, you're getting oxytocin. Oh, sunlight, if you do it during sun, you're, and take your sunglasses off. You're, getting ser you're stimulating serotonin receptor sites in your body. You're moving away from the threat. You're getting connection with another human being. You're getting all these microbes. Like It's crazy how we would just do this one thing and not even think about how tremendously beneficial that is. I really think we have overcomplicated the blood sugar situation. We've overcomplicated weight loss. And something as simple as a hike on a Sunday morning with a friend could be a game changer for weight loss, could be a game changer for lowering blood sugar. And it's free. Okay, if you love this video, you're gonna wanna check out the next video of my food series. Five foods that will sabotage weight loss. And they're gonna surprise you. These are ones that you're probably doing thinking they're helping you lose weight.